30 years in, old age pensioner now, and uh, you've got some cracking youngsters coming through, so it's, uh, for me personally, I think it's now time to turn around and say, let the youngsters come through. I've had a magnificent career so far, and uh, hopefully I can carry on in the background. I think in every sport, um, you have a, a certain referee, an iconic referee that everybody relates to. Um, football had Peluji Kalina, cricket had Dickie Bird or, or rugby Nigel Owens. In darts, it's Russ Bray. Uh, when we first started the World Series, I remember people would ask me, like, is Phil Taylor coming? Is Raymond Van Barneveld coming? And then they'd say, is that referee with the gravelly voice coming? It's an iconic voice. I mean, everyone who's ever watched a game of darts knows that voice, knows the call of 180. It's one of the most distinctive calls in darts and everyone knows the name of Russ Bray. That 180 call, I mean, it's just an iconic call, isn't it, that everyone knows. For what he's done for the sport, um, I do think he's been an absolute fantastic ambassador for sport in general and the Professional Darts Corporation. An iconic voice, like he's the man, you know, he is the voice of darts. When you, you talk about darts referees, everyone says, oh, the guy with the raspy voice, what's his name? Russ. It's going to be very hard to follow, isn't it? But, you know, there's great referees coming up behind him. You know, Hugh Weir, Charlie Corstaphine, Kirk Bevins, you know, it's in good hands. Um, but I think there's only going to be one Russ Bray. You, you could go to a country and the person may not know that darts is taking place, but the minute Russ is there, they know. You talk Michael Van Gerwen, Eric Bristol, Phil Taylor, but Russ Bray, you know, comes straight away. It's like, oh, you know, the man with the voice, isn't it? I, in life, all I'd ever want is, if someone said, oh, what do you think of Russ Bray? If someone said, oh, he's a nice bloke, that do for me. He always has time for people, you know, whether it's a handshake, a selfie, an autograph, whatever. You know, he, would, he never turns anybody down. He is proud of what he does, but he's also proud of where the sport is, and I think he's played a big part in, in helping it get to that level. He'll do anything for you. Um, he's all smiley, jokey, telling tales. And uh, yeah, just a fantastic guy to be around. Uh, always happy. You never see him sad, do you? He's just, he's all smiling and joking. You know, you can't keep a straight face with him, can you? I mean, he's, he, uh, he will find fun in, in any condition. It's the perfect and only environment for him to go out in, really. Obviously, our flagship match, our flagship tournament, um, you know, and th there's no other way for, for his career to finish as a referee, really. It's, it's the right way for him to go out, isn't it? To call one last time game shot and the World Championship to whoever it may be at the Alexandra Palace come January. The, the role of PDC Ambassador has kind of been created for us, really, because we felt that it would be too wasteful to lose his contribution to the sport entirely. He'll bring passion to the role. Um, he, he will be, still represent the Professional Darts Corporation. And I've said before, he is a fantastic ambassador for the Professional Darts Corporation and that will continue. We'll miss him in one role, but I think the other role will really benefit from his knowledge. I'm really relishing that particular, that particular role, particular title, um, because as I say, there's an awful lot out there still to be done, and there's an awful lot that you know, we can still give and that we can still go. And we're riding the crest of a wave, and we're going at a, a fantastic rate of knots, and I don't see the end of that wave splashing down at all.